Hey, what's up guys, Astro here from IPWorld.com. We sell phones, not ads. It is one of the famous statement by Mother Safe, the CEO of Realme. And again, he told us that there won't be any sort of single or little or no ads in the Realme phones. And even in some launch events, like in the Realme 3 and 3 Pro, you, we can see that at the end of the presentation, there was something called no ads in the UI. So it's clearly mentioned that there will be no ads at all in the color OS or in, in any sort of Realme phones out there. But now things has changed. Now with the 2020 beginning, the uh, Realme came up with a press release and in that press release company clearly mentions that they're coming up with a new feature called content recommendation. So essentially this content recommendation means ads and this uh, crappy advertisement that is being shown in the devices. I was wondering like how this content recommendation can be called as a feature. I mean, it is no beneficial. It is no way beneficial for the users like me and you who uses the Realme devices, but it is actually beneficial for the Realme brand itself. It might bring some sort of commercial, I mean, uh, monetary values to the company. I mean, they will get ex generate extra income by actually showing ads to the users, but that's it. Other than that, it cannot be called as a feature. And I really don't think it is a feature for the end user for that matter. I've been always against this company showing ads to their uh, users in the UI like in two years back uh, Xiaomi introduced this whole uh, crappy ads to their smartphones they were selling great uh, smartphone with great hardware and software in the past but from last two years Xiaomi is actually showing some sort of ads in everywhere literally everywhere when you just take this uh, uh, security page you get uh, some sort of ads in the video app there is an ad video player then uh, immediately after you install an app a sc dummy scanning page appears and there you will find a lot of ads and it was completely messy and the user in, uh, experience experience was highly affected by this implementation of these ads. Actually companies like Redmi and Realme does this thing to actually uh, find an additional source of income for their uh, sustain their business model and the, in the Realme press release also it's clearly mentioned that to make their uh, business model more effective and sustainable they're actually introducing ads to their smartphone with ColorOS 6. I mean uh, the, uh, every single smartphones with ColorOS 6 and above will receive an OTA update shortly and uh, uh, soon after you update your device with the OTA update you will be presented with ads of every single sort. I mean as of now uh, Realme is planning to show ads on two sections. The first section is phone manager app and maybe some sort of banner ads, industrial ads, maybe overlay, pop-up, video ads, whatever it is, it's going to come in phone manager app. And the second location where Realme is planning to show ads is the uh, install, I mean scanning pages. Soon after you install an app, maybe from Play Store or maybe from some sort of side load and APK file, after the app is installed, you will get a dummy scanning page just for the sake of showing ads i mean uh, those uh, scanning really doesn't make any sense at all so this po this will pop up and they will be showing some sort of i think a banner ad will be shown to you uh, like in the name of scanning uh, the scanning process will go on top and on top of it this ad will be displayed same is the case with current uh, miui devices now if you uh, even if you are having an miui device just go to play store and install an app after the installation is done you will notice that a new pop up comes like scanning for threats and something like that and they show ads from in uh, like a banner ad on top of it and that's how these uh, scanning uh, like app scanning ads work so as of now realme is planning to show ads uh, only at these two locations at least they have only talked about these two locations in the press release uh, i really do not know if they will gradually increase i mean like they will show ads on some other music app maybe uh, settings page or something like that uh, we are not quite sure about it we can see it in coming few months and again they are also given us a nice little option to disable this content recommendation feature or essentially the ads you can just disable advertisements completely from the color os ui for that all you have to do is just go to the setting then go to additional settings and you will find an option called content recommendation here so you will have you will be having two options here one is to enable and disable content recommendation and i really don't think anyone will actually enable this thing as they will be seeing a lot of ads in here so it's nice that uh, realme has actually given us an option to disable the ads and i'm not quite sure well how this thing will work i mean even if we turn off this content recommendation option will uh, realme show some uh, ads to it i mean similar is the case with uh, redmi and uh, some sort of flat, uh, budget devices from samsung they were having this options to you know sort of uh, turn off this content recommendation or advertisements but even after turning off this advertisement these devices were showing ads in the every single form i mean the maybe the frequency will be less but again they will at the end of the day they are definitely going to show us ads but i'm not quite sure how well the uh, realme is going to do this thing but again it's really nice to have this uh, options to disable this content recommendation 
So here comes the question. Will you guys be willing to pay an extra 1000 or 2000 rupees just, just to get rid of ads? Let's say that your phone is available for 15,000 rupees with all that great specs, I mean, hardware and software. Now that price for the like 15,000 rupees, you will get this uh, device with support for lifelong ads. And again, if you're willing to pay another 1000 or 1500 rupees, let's say 16,000 or 16,500 rupees, you will get the same phone without any sort of ads. Will you be willing to pay another 1000 or 1500 rupees just as to get a smartphone without these ads? well let me know in the comment section below anyway I'm really against this brand showing uh, some sort of ads like this I was using Redmi Note 4 device in the past and they came with a lot of ads in every single possible way they were having apps in the scanning pages file manager video uh, player music player settings page and pretty much everywhere so the uh, user in, uh, uh, experience was affected by quite a margin so what I did was I actually I went off and flashed my device with another custom ROM which is pixel experience UI and that way I got rid of uh, this uh, ads in the real uh, I mean the Redmi uh, devices so the next option that comes to, into my list if you really want a realme or Redmi device but again you are not willing to have these ads I mean if you are a great fan of this hardware op offered by realme and Redmi but again if you really do not want to uh, have these ads then the best way is to flash your device and use a custom ROM again the stability of the custom ROM is something that we really need to think about so at the end of the day it's all your choice and let me know what you guys think about it this in the comment section below anyway that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed this video if yes please be sure to subscribe to my channel for similar updates and i'll catch you in the next one